Sitting at a piano all day is just as bad for your body as sitting at a desk, um, except the music part makes it a little bit more fun, I think. Um, the first thing that I say to voice teachers is to ditch the piano bench. Um, it's really, really hard to maintain decent posture for hours on end without adequate back support. That's just how it is. I always joke and say I've, I've earned my right to sit on a desk chair because I sat on a piano bench for like 30 years. <laughs> I personally sit at a fancy desk chair that has adjustable height and settings, um, and I can also adjust the pitch of the seat up and down, um, and I can also adjust the positioning of the back. Um, once I got the settings right, I was able to sit much more comfortably and I've had significantly fewer neck and back problems since I made the switch. I do have colleagues who prefer to sit on a piano bench um, with a cushion or some kind of other postural support. There is a posture support that you can get that's kind of like a seat cushion that has a little sort of cupping in the back which can help you to sort of sit forward for ideal posture. Um, I have some friends who are most comfortable sitting in a standard dining chair. Um, and I even know a couple of people who prefer to teach sitting on a balance ball. Um, it's important for you that you experiment and find out what works best and what supports your posture the best. Um, I'm pretty klutzy overall, <laughs> so a balance ball would basically be a death drop for me. Um, so I stick to my fancy desk chair, um, even though the cushion is a little bit ripped. The studio I teach at is in my home, which is in a New York City apartment, and because of the high price of real estate, our spaces, living spaces, tend to be pretty small. Um, my piano is placed on the long wall, it's sort of a rectangular shape, um, and because of where I put the piano, I'm able to teach facing either my left side with my student on my left, or with my student on the right. Um, I try as much as I can to alternate teaching left, right, left, okay, which helps me avoid kind of getting stuck on in one direction. Um, when I turn to look at my student, I try to turn my entire body to look at them, so like this, or like this, okay, rather than just turning my neck or my head, okay. Because of the desk chair that I have, um, I'm able to actually shift my hips so that my knees are kind of pointing toward my student so that my whole body is turning. I used to have a ton of neck issues for a long time, but now that I'm moving my body instead of my neck, I've had very few neck issues. If you teach in a space with a grand piano, what you want to do is try to stand the student so that they're in the crook of the piano in front of you so that you can see them straight in front of you without having to turn at all. The same thing if you teach using a keyboard, that can also work really well. Um, and if you're in an odd shaped space, just try as much as you can to point your body towards your student instead of turning your neck. Um, I once taught in a space where the student had to be behind me. I mean, this was a postage stamp of a room. And in that case, you could carry along with you a mirror that you could put on the piano so that you could actually see them out your rear view mirror. So that's an idea for you too. Basically, you just don't want to be turning your neck if you don't have to.